Hi Gemini, how's it going? Uh, happy birthday. So this reading is for you if you are in love with somebody or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. We'll do two spreads in this reading. In the first spread, uh, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual in the second spread, we'll see the potential uh, between you and this person. Or, if the heart is with someone else in the second spread, we'll see a new person entering your life in the near future. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. Alright Gemini, um, let's see what's going on uh, with, the, with your person. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands. We also have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups. And we have um, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or absolutely any Zodiac sign. Well, yeah, we do have this Knight of Pentacles, right? But we don't have any other court cards. You know what we don't have either? We don't have any major arcana cards on the table. I clarified every card just in case, just to make sure I understand what's going on. And I think I even I made it a little more complicated, <laughs> right? But uh, let's talk about this. This is probably somebody you already know, obviously. Maybe it's, it's somebody from your past. Uh, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a soulmate card, but it's also a card of somebody from the past. Right? Not necessarily an ex. For some of you it's an ex, but for others of you it's just maybe you've known this person for a long time. Um, their current status, their current status is they're waiting. They're waiting for some sort of an event. Right? We start with the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, and what they're waiting for is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could be a card of a, some sort of a reunion. Maybe you have a reunion scheduled with a, with a, with a bunch of people and you, they're one of them. Or you you may have just a reunion, a catch-up meeting with just with this person. For others of you, it could be your birthday that they're waiting for, that Three of Cups. Or any other event. Perhaps you're going to be going to some sort of an event and uh, they know you're going to be going and they're going themselves as well. And they're waiting for that. Right in the middle, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Five of Wands. So this is where it gets a, li a little more complicated, right? The Page of Cups could be an apology, because the Five of Wands could be a card of a fight, a struggle, a fight. It's a card of drama. It could be interpreted as such, right? So they may have an apology for you, right? If uh, you guys are on no speaking terms, and maybe they're waiting for that event or they're waiting for your birthday so that they could wish you a happy birthday and apologize at the same time. Or the Five of Cups could be their internal struggle. It could be their internal struggle. Maybe they're a little shy. <laughs> Maybe they're a little intimidated by you or whatever. But they're still getting ready to present you that Page of Cups. All right. Uh, maybe they're thinking about approaching you. They're thinking about starting a conversation with you. What have you? And uh, then we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups. This is when things get a little more serious. The Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, but the Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most stable, grounded, long-term oriented knight out of all four knights. All right. Maybe they're gonna give you a, a present for your birthday. All right, and it's going to be a very meaningful present, maybe a very expensive present with that Knight of Pentacles. But the Knight of Pentacles always talks about planning, planning. It's it's all about long term and things like that. The Nine of Cups, clarifying that. Um, and the Nine of Cups could be another uh, party or event card, just like the Three of Cups, all the way to your left. Right? Maybe they've prepared something very special for your birthday, or they've prepared something special for a later date, right? Um, the Nine of Cups could be, like I said, a card of an event or a party or what have you, but the Nine of Cups could also be a card of a wish come true, right? Maybe this person, like I said, has been in your life for a while and they've been uh, struggling with this, but uh, they see this upcoming couple of weeks as an opportunity to maybe express their feelings, maybe give you something big, something serious, something long-term oriented with the Knight of Pentacles, or they hope for a, a long-term connection with you. Uh, Gemini, so something among those lines, all right? If this is an ex coming back there, they want to get serious with you, with that Knight of Pentacles. All right, uh, Gemini, so let's look Promising, this looks good. Let's take a look at the potential between you and this person real quick. 
All right, Gemini, so here's the uh, potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the previous spread. We have the Ace of Swords, uh, clarified by Temperance. We have Strength, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have the Chariot, clarified by the Lovers. And uh, we have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign. Uh, yeah, we have a, a major arcana card for every single Fire Sign. <laughs> Temperance could be a Sag, uh, Strength could be a Leo. Uh, the Fool could be an Aries, right? Uh, but the, the Chariot could be a Cancer, and we have you, the Lovers, clarifying the Chariot, unless you're dealing with another Gemini. So yeah, we have so we have major Arcana cards on the table. Remember the first spread, zero major Arcana cards. This one has uh, what five? I count five. All right. Yeah, the potential for you is definitely there. <laughs> okay, the potential is there. I gotta be honest with you, there is no commitment of marriage cards, but there's definitely a potential. Uh, um, I think it all depends on that Ace of Swords, right? The Ace of Swords and maybe the Fool on the bottom of the deck. So if those two cards play out and it's like positive outcome, um, then the two of you can definitely move forward. Let me explain. The Ace of Swords is a card of a conversation. It often comes through as the word yes, by the way. Gemini and that yes could be coming from you so whether you say yes or not whether you decide with the full card either give this person a second chance or or take a leap of faith with them right then the remaining cards will play out so yeah the ace of swords is a card of a yes it's a card of a very straightforward very direct conversation it's when boundaries are established, it's when rules are established, it's when people get on the same page. I often refer to that Ace of Swords as the no BS Ace, right? So you gotta, it's a card of clarity, okay? It's a card of clarity. So I think that at some point, if you want to, you will have to have that conversation and just make sure everything is crystal clear, make sure you're on the same page, make sure everybody understands what's going on and, and uh, so forth and so on, right? And uh, Temperance clarifying it could be a Sagittarius, you know, but Temperance could be a card of balance, right? Balance, establishing balance or re-establishing a balance. It's also a card of healing. If this is an X coming back, maybe it's all about healing. The full um, as I already mentioned, could be either an Aries, you know, but the full could be a card of uh, second chances, wiping the slate clean and starting from scratch, but with new roles, right? With uh, everybody understanding how this is going to work with the with the Ace of Swords, and uh, the full could also be a card of taking a leap of faith. Okay, depending on your uh, scenario, depending on your situation, strength in the middle could be a Leo. You're dealing with strength could be a card of courage, or it could also be a card of loyalty. Okay, that's my favorite interpretation of the strength card, loyalty. And uh, the Eight of Wands, clarifying that, um, the Eight of Wands is very similar to the Chariot. You see the Chariot showed up on its own, and then the Eight of Wands showed up as a clarifier. So both of those two cards are really fast forward moving cards. They're the two fastest cards in the deck. The Eight of Wands is the fastest minor arcana card. The Chariot is the fastest major arcana card. Right, so maybe you guys can go somewhere, <laughs> or move in together, or move forward. Right? Or this will simply pick up and gain momentum after that conversation. Okay? And uh, the Eight of Wands is also the Cupid's Arrows card. The Chariot, if it's not a Cancer, you know, like I said, it could be a card of moving forward or literally going somewhere or moving forward and not looking back. Alright? Forgetting what happened in the past, but uh, again, not repeating the past. Making sure things foundation is laid in the way so the past is not repeated if it's your ex. Um, the lovers clarifying the chariot is uh, is your major arcana card, Gemini, unless you're dealing with another Gemini. It's also part of a choice, all right? So again, there's going to be a choice to be made by you. And at the same time, if we forget this is your major arcana card, and if we forget it's a card of a choice for just a quick second, the lovers could be the love of your life card. Okay? It's also a twin flame connection card, if you believe in twin flames. Perhaps if this is somebody from your past and they're your ex, maybe you've been on and off, on and off, on and off, on again, off again, and maybe this cat and mouse game will finally stop at some point in the next couple of weeks. Alright, so yeah, just to sum up, Gemini, you do have a conversation coming up, a very important conversation, and uh, depending on the outcome, uh, the rest of the spread could play out. But the potential is there, for sure. 
Alright? Gemini, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. Happy birthday to all of you one more time. And other than that, Gemini, have an amazing June.